Why you they live back over there in the car? Wondering about what them people say. Don't you know who you are? You the son of the daughter of the most I got, the king of kings. Come out to the dark, step into the light, move to the front, where you belong. Come out to the dark, step into the light, step into the light, move to the front, where you belong. Where you belong. Tell me what is your name.
Networking is so important. And these two ladies, who I consider trailblazers, particularly Miss Geraldine Thompson, who is a state Senate candidate, she has been around the block many times representing us in the, in the capital of Tallahassee as a Florida state Senate. But this time around, she is going for, I think, uh, District 15 to represent us. And um, she is definitely a trailblazer but we'll hear from her around 12:50, and then miss patricia rump we're going to hear from her uh the second hour of the show which is around 125 and she is part of the pine hills community council who hosted the um I, i'm gonna jack up the name so I'm, I'm trying to remember the right but it's like a straw poll for the democrats for this time for orange county and that was on Thursday evening at the Florida fair, or the fairgrounds. See, again, the COVID brain. Fairgrounds. And it was really interesting. That was my first time. Um, Sandra invited me, Sandra Fatmi, who is running for District 2. And uh, it was really, really interesting. Okay. I got there late. And when oh. I got there, yeah, I got there late. Mm -hmm. but, but I got there in time to vote, most important. And when I got there, Charlie Chris was just walking through the door. Code, let me tell you, here now. He's an old fella. He's a who? He's an old fella. 
Oh yeah, white fella. He's, he's, he's yeah, up, but, but when you age. actually see him, it's like that's Charlie Chris. Yeah, he's, up, he's up there in age. He's up yeah, there in he, age. He's really skinny, bent over. Um, but oh, you know oh, what? Really? He, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. Bent over because I don't know. Well, he's you know they say when you start getting old, you start losing your well, height. I swear, politics is put. But does, you see Obama? Obama put on 10, 15 years after he came out of office. Obama. Yeah. All of them. They yeah, just they, get they, they, here that's immediately. That's stressful. <laughs> that's stressful. That's stressful. <laughs> you know what? Because look at Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. Oh my goodness. Bill Clinton looked like he aged dirty. A whole lot, yeah. right? Yeah. Bill, Bill Wait, like I he... think I out of focus here. So let me bring the mic over just a little. Yeah. Just you're not, a little. You're, you're not in the center. I'm not in the you're center. You're not in the center. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. In the so center. let me just say hi to Mr. Christopher Stroud. Tricky finger. I choose Radio Family in the house. Maya, Maya Mass. Hi, Maya. I, 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 I don't want to be presumptuous, but Maya Mass. Is that a, 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 a mass group or a mass? What do you call that? Mass. A mass band. Mass band? Oh, yeah. Let us know. Okay. Uh, okay. So, um... You're listening to us live on iTunes Radio. We are live streaming on Facebook, our site, thepeoplechatroom.com, and YouTube. Yes. I want to let you all know that uh, August, we will be doing a show. Well, Code will be our advisor, but he um, won't be on the show, but he'll be our advisor. It's a new show called Caribbean Uh-oh, Straight Talk. One. one hour. Okay. We're talking <laughs> politics. We're talking everything to raise your awareness as to what you should or shouldn't do um and it wouldn't just be for in time for the election no it's going to be ongoing every now and then we'll take at least a month off but it'll be ongoing my co-host will be mr georges Bousson jr he is haitian american and um it's um something that i'm doing along with women of culture which would be miss mia allman uh, my son, Dominique Brisbane, is going to be the tech for that show. It's only an hour. Only an hour. So we ain't playing a whole lot of music. Well, well yeah, no, we won't, because I'm not a DJ <laughs> like that. I thought you were, hold on, but iTunes, I have 10 call you another DJ. <laughs> you for late, you know? You for late. Okay, and I want to hear my, I want to hear my drop. I Octane says I'm a DJ, but you know, I'm learning that there are different types of DJs, yeah, and I'm yeah, not yeah. the one on the turntable. I don't even know how to do that, <laughs> you know. So hey, it is what it is. So let me step back. Um, so Code could play some music. Continue to keep us in that nice upbeat frame of mind while we wait for Miss Natalie Amoroso to climb into. Um, well, she's in the waiting room, but will be brought on the show. Tibado, 
Party bado, party bado, party bado, let's party bado, party bado, party bado, party bado, party bado, bo. Tell a bartender that bato bado, bo. You are drink everything, never so bo. Tell my number, we say now slow mo, bo bo. Party bado, bo. Tell a bartender that bato bado, bo. You are drink everything, never so bo. Tell my number, we say now slow mo, bo bo. You drive me, drive me crazy, your girls go never done. My money, my money, my money for you, my number one. Baby, when you turn around, if I hold you tonight, for spite, just, just on the road, 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 I want to play. On the road, on the road, on the road, on the road, on the road. When she went and go down, it's like boom 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 boom. She body calling me to follow that, follow that, follow that. Cute face, slim waist, and bump up my toe. No time, girl, give me that girl. Let me fix it all back with that. for roughly eight years and we just it's just such a good thing to bring you information it's a good thing to bring you you know like you have some fun while you're listening to all the good information just show your waist a little bit like this and that and this and that and this and that so um natalie where are you darling it's time for you to climb into the show okay so we're waiting for natalie to just unmute and take that uh, and let us see her, and then we're going to continue with that conversation. You say something. Okay, she's oh. talking. We can't hear her. But she's coming through. Is, so is that on us? Hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, so, hold on. so, 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 code, go and try and figure ah, it out. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, that's like, come on, man. If you guys can hear me, I can't hear you. Okay, oh, we can no, no. hear you that now. That was my fault. That was my fault. I, I can hear you guys now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because he can forgot to click what he was supposed to click. Uh, you know, you know uh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. a man. I, I get to forget things once in a lifetime. <laughs> Once good in morning. a lifetime, good morning, 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 morning. Don't, don't, you're setting yourself up for me to tray under the bus. What's Look good, at that. Good, good, good. Morning, good. Natalie. Morning. How you doing? I'm good. I see, see, listen, I was thinking I was lost. I'm like, what? what's going on? I'm, nah, I'm nah, not nah. tech. I don't have code right on my side <laughs> to make sure that the speaker's working. And I'm like, ah, where's, the, where's the man when you well, need well, him to well, be? Well, I, I'm still on your side. I'm just on this other side. So I, I make sure well, I need you to clean. make sure things are connected and working here. You know, Kevin's not here. So it's up to me to make sure that the thing's going. And I'm like, Good, I'm always like, listen, fix it, connect it, and let me know when I need to be there. You right? did well. You did well for. You did yes, well on did. your side. Yes, so, did. You did so excellent. we good. All right. Excellent. So let me introduce you to our listeners, ladies and gentlemen. We have the mortgage broker side of the family, which is Miss Natalie Amoroso. So almost every Saturday, y'all get a chance to see and hear her husband, Kevin Amoroso, who is the realtor, the the real estate. Well, the, it's all real estate. The realtor, but today is Natalie Amoroso. So Natalie, where bringing for us darling and it's nice to see you every now and then 
you know, but you need to come on a little bit more often. Straight up. I'm, I, I want to, but you know, sometimes somebody got to keep the kids at bay. Oh, you know, yes. Mm -hmm. so. Your children are growing so beautifully. Yeah. So beautifully. Oh, when you, you look at the face, it's a combination of you and Kevin. But mostly yes. Kevin, because you can see that little mischievous side coming out, you know? <laughs> Thank you. As long as we know where that side is coming from, I'm good, right? So you we understand know. my pain. We know, we know. <laughs> All right, Suda, what are you bringing for us today? Oh, my gosh. So one of the things I'm getting hit with a lot, right, mm -hmm. is should I wait? to buy a house, right? Because so many people think that this recession is coming and they're gonna, housing prices is just gonna bottom out and we're just gonna get all these deals of a deal and we're gonna buy a house for next to nothing once this recession hits. Not happening. Not happening, mm -hmm. Not happening right? Mm -hmm. um, I think what people are comparing it to is back in uh, the 2008 um, housing crash. Mm -hmm when recession came about, but that was because of the housing market. So totally different scenario, right? We're looking at a recession right now, possibly because the, the government is overstimulating the economy, mm -hmm. have nothing to do with the housing market. Mm -hmm. Too much the money. housing market is as strong as it wants to be, right? So I feel like what I want to tell people is if you, if you have the opportunity to buy a home now, purchase your home. Purchase your home. We see the housing market climbing. Houses are, the housing prices are, are stabilizing really because interest rates are kind of, it, it's creeping up a little bit right now. So because that the interest rates are going a little bit higher, um, less people can qualify right now, right? The, the banks have made it a little bit harder. They've increased their restrictions as far as what people need to bring to the table and what they need to do in order to qualify for home. So it's making it a little bit um, harder for more people to qualify. So you have less competition. So you mm. see the housing market stabilizing. So now is the best time for people to actually jump in but and let not me, have let so much ask, competition. Let me ask this question. And I say that as a current homeowner, um, I've seen this past week, a particular insurance company um, dumped 80, and I can't think of another word, but to say dumped 80,000 homeowner policies. <laughs> Different. So, uh, but I wanted to know how does that affect new homeowners or new people trying to, to purchase a home? Because you got to get insurance or else the mortgage company is going to put their own insurance on there. How does that, how does that affect new homeowners? Oh, gosh another another question of the day right because mm -hmm. obviously you're not going to have financing without having your home insured the mm -hmm. lender is going to make sure that you have insurance um it, it is affecting some people as far as if you don't have the income to su to support a higher payment because they're going to calculate all of that mm -hmm. into your dti right mm -hmm. um if you don't have the the income to support going from maybe Let's say right now I'm actually seeing insurance rates go from maybe 1500 a year mm -hmm. to 3000, 32, 32 and 3500 a year, right? Mm -hmm. Some people can actually get priced out because their DTIs can support when them you say actually DT, including DT, that. DT what? Say that? You said you use an acronym there. Was the was DTR? So the DTI is DTI. your debt to income ratio, yeah, right? Okay. So mm -hmm. it's your income that you have mm -hmm. versus all the debt that you currently have mm -hmm. plus this new loan that you want to take on. So they're going to put all of those things in a bucket, mm -hmm. put all your expenses. If you have student loans, your mm -hmm. car note, your yeah. credit card payments, and now they're going to dump this, um, this new mortgage in there as well. And they're going to look at your income. And they're going to match those two against each other. And they're going to say, okay, we don't want you to pass a certain percentage mm -hmm. um, of your income, right? Mm -hmm. um, and as long as you fall within that percentage rate that they allow, then your DTA is fine. But because of the increase in the insurance, you're finding a lot of people that are not able to qualify because, not because of the mortgage payment, but be because by the time you roll in the rates, the, that the, 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 the quotes that they're getting for insurance policies, they, it, it's hard. It's, it's a little See, bit tougher. So you find less people in the market right now that's actually able to look and find something that they actually want. Because right now, I think the primary uh, insurance provider is Citizens, which is a state provider. And, and I mean, I, I just think that people need to know all of that and hopefully, because this is a political problem. 
no yep. other problem but a political problem. And until Absolutely. politically politically wise, they can find a a, re, a a way to get out of this, it'll continue to be a problem. But you know, I don't want that to deter people. I just want people to know what you're getting into when you want to purchase a home. So. I want people to be able to give you guys a call at 407-780-3338 to get answers to your questions. Uh, Natalie is a mortgage broker. So she in the whole line, I think you're the first person we go to or the last person. Pretty uh, pretty much the first, right? That's that's mm -hmm. the that's what the, the, the real estate partners are gonna look for because once before you could go out and start looking for a house, you need to know how much house you can afford. Mm -hmm. Right. So <laughs> first in the chain and usually the last in the chain. <laughs> yeah, because you're the one that helps to tie it up in the bow. All right. So yeah. you go to Natalie first and then she when she finishes with you, she'll move you along to Kevin and the and the agents and for you to find that home. And then you come back to Natalie to wrap it up. That's pretty much it, right? That's it in a nutshell. Pretty so much. so we're gonna be seeing you a little bit more often? Yes, ma'am, I promise. Why your mom and me, Natalie? And listen, as the kids are growing up, I'm letting, I'm letting them know they got to, <laughs> when I say sit down and watch TV and be entertained for a few minutes and be quiet, mm -hmm. they, 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 that concept they get is it. beginning to make a little bit more sense now. I, I told you, my mother always <laughs> But you know, say, they always find you no matter where you are, so. <laughs> I always, my mother would always say they will grow. They will grow. They ain't always going to stay small. They're going to grow. So, Natalie, yeah. thank you for being so, you know, being patient with us and, you know, for being on the show today and tell Kevin I say hi. Hey, I will. I will. Yeah, listen, I was like, wait, I need to be over there partying. Y'all <laughs> party while y'all bringing the information. I love it. <laughs> well, that, you know, you know, thanks for saying that we party in with a purpose. We bring in the information and we party in. And that's what this show is all about. You know what I mean? So you got it. So hopefully everybody oh. else will get it too. Right. Thank you guys. Thank You're welcome. You. Thank you so much. Okay. All righty. Again. Please, if you want, no, 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 when you're buying a home, I don't want to say if you're buying a home, when you're buying a home, call 407-780-3338, a very, very easy number to, to, to remember, 780-3338, you see, I said it and I didn't even have to look at, at, the, at the, the, the card, right, 407-738-3338, buying a house, we just had Miss Natalie Amoroso on and she is the mortgage broker in the family. When you're done with her, she's the first person you go to. When you're done with her, then you go on to Kevin, and he's going to help you find that home of your dreams or tell you, you know what, buy the land, build. I, I like what they say. You know, you got to mm -hmm. start with Natalie first because she had she to tell you how much uh -huh. you can uh -huh. afford because yeah. it does some of people, some of, you know, got big eyes and small pockets. <laughs> It's true. It's, it's true. true. It's true. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to be disrespectful, but it's, it's true. It's, it's true. I'm people with it's big eyes <laughs> and small pockets. I, I want to know that until, Make it until you, you, you get hit until with that. Until you get hit with the rukunku yeah. And yeah. then you say, then you start to, you know, do some little moonwalk a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyhow, it's all in the family. Natalie, then Kevin, and then back to Natalie, and then you're done. So okay? here's Facebook, people. We're about to get blocked because I, I tired of Facebook. So follow us live. We are right now. We're on YouTube. <laughs> and our and our website, website thepeoplechatroom.com. Very simple. Re religiously, every Saturday when we're you know, on, we do get you know, blocked. We, we, they, they will block us for like a couple seconds, sometimes a full minute, because he will play music that is copywritten, and they ain't like that. So get ready. So let, let me get, say get hi ready. to Mr. Riven Campbell. Get ready. Militia Wagwan, my brother. And oh, then we will have oh. Miss Geraldine Thompson at 1250 and Miss Patricia Rump from the Pine Hills Community Council around 125. In the meantime, in between time, run the ding. Get up, big up for real, right up, straight up. Big things to go on for the girls in my yard and for man. Excess, time for those money. Yeah. 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 I said, oh man, I wear the ring, I forget to pick up. Oh man, I wear the ring, me know that's a glamour rush. Oh man, I wear the ring, me think about all the time. Oh man, I wear the ring, we the time. If you up on your ring, oh man, hold it up high. Make it down, I'm going to strike your head high. We're speaking to the sun, then you want to pull it for it. Husband, check with you, and up to the sky. So no matter what they do, I'm not going to try. No other woman out there. Get the blind. Oh, now we're the ring. I'm 
and you can listen to us live on iTunes Radio because we definitely ain't gonna get blocked there either, as well as our website. Oh man, I wear the ring, me know that's a glamorous. Oh man, I wear the ring, me think about all the time. Oh man, I wear the ring, be the fan sometimes. If you up on your ring, oh man, hold it up high. Make it burn, I'm burn and strike, you make high. Where sweetness is concerned, you know you're going to fight. Oh man, I know you're going to take it. What's this? What type of girls for the fans love you watch? Are the girls that are one of a full time guy? YouTube and I know some of that is copywritten but on YouTube they pretty much tell you it's copywritten but it's still and you know what they make the list of the songs that are copywritten mm-hmm. and for the most part they leave you alone okay Don't leave me alone now. and then of course uh, we are live on iTunes radio you get a chance to hear the show again with nothing blocked on Soka Passion this evening and then of course tomorrow on Island Beach Radio from 12.30 to 2.30 so you know hey yeah but you know for that past, was that five minutes? Mm. 
Uh, we will mute it. Yeah, we mute. We mute. Yeah. yeah, and then a uh, a little video will come up later on saying that you will okay. mute it. Do you okay. have any rights okay. to? Okay. Let's just ignore them. It's yeah, like whatever. Like, yeah, just keep going and and then. Yeah. So let me tell you, Miss Geraldine Thompson is going to be coming on at twelve fifty, and I, let me just let y'all know this woman is a trailblazer, definitely. So I gotta take my glasses off to read, okay? <laughs> she was born in <laughs> New Orleans. Yeah, glad you laughed. I'm glad you laughed. <laughs> and moved to the state of Florida in 1955, where she grew up in the town of Perrine. What that is? In that dunk out? I've, I've heard of it. She attended Miami Dade Community College and received a scholarship to attend the University of Miami in Coral Gables. So she's also a hurricane. Well, a cane, right? Yeah, that's what they call them. Where she enrolled Thank shortly you. after that. The school ended racial segregation. In 1970, she received a bachelor's degree with honors in journalism and business education. She moved with her husband, Emerson, to Tallahassee, where she attended law school and worked in state government and higher education. Her first position in Tallahassee was as executive secretary to the representative Gwendolyn Sawyer Cherry, the first African-American woman to serve in the Florida House of Representatives. So we're talking history here, okay, guys? After working for several years, she sought a Master of Science degree in communication from, fraud from Florida State University, which she received in 1973. Then she joined her husband in Orlando. She began working as a teacher in the Orange County Public Schools, and after six years, she left the classroom to accept a position as director of the Equal Opportunity Office at Valencia Community College, where she served for 24 years as the assistant to the president. In 2002, she ran for the Florida House of Representatives from the 39th district, which included parts of downtown Orlando in Orange County against Bruce Antoine. Wait a second. That was the same guy who was, at, he was there at the town hall last week. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, put in, we put in it together, the pieces. Yeah. Tiffany Moore Russell and John Eason, she campaigned on her support for the class size amendment that was on the ballot in the general election that year and for a sales tax referendum in Orange County. There's a lot of history on this lady, so let me scroll down. When Antoine, whom Thompson had previously run against, opted against seeking a fourth term in the House to instead, you know, we ain't talking about Mr. Antoine. He could speak for himself when he gets on here. But um, she was endorsed by the Orlando Sentinel, and that was in 2008. She was, she was then elected without an opponent to the, in the general election and was re-elected without opposition in 2008 and 2010. And that was for, uh, yeah. Okay, so you know what? Let me scroll back up. And let's see if I could make this as concise as I possibly can. Uh, let's see. August 20, August 26, 2014, um, primary election, Democratic primary results. She won that particular state Senate District 12. And then keep going forward. Uh, she ran again, and I believe she did win. You know, I'm just trying to make it as concise as I possibly can. So let me see. Where do I go? She was a member in the state, Florida State Senate from 2012 to 2016, and that was for the 12th district. This time around, she's running for District 15. So when she comes on, we'll talk about her campaign, and I'll let her share, because the Wells Built Museum, that's her baby, that's here in Orlando, and I don't know how many of you all have ever taken the time to visit the museum, because in my early years of Caribbean Jazz Fusion, I used to have my, my, my event there for about three years in a row. It's a really small museum, but it's all about black history. All about, all about black history. Yeah, let, let me play some music. Girls, you look so sharp Anytime you pass in the boom boom shop It's true. What's the girl's grace about? Tell her again. Girl, you touch my heart Anytime you pass in your boom boom shop Where them are gonna do they hold me? Oh, what do you yeah. mean? What do you get me wicked this year? Not evil water again, gold me. <laughs> Not a mercy. What do you get me? 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 Wicked, wicked, and never did you check it. This is a get damaged, damaged, you don't kiss my wrist. You're gonna start. Jump and spread out, you know, man, pee. Get a man, jump and rock, you know, man, pee. 
Shoot it out, you know, man, pay. Reel it up, you know, man, pay. See me now. Jesus Christ, I'm man, pay me now. Everybody love a man, pay not them corner. Yeah, that day me go a dance down a whole arm. And me love me bad mind, the friend Red Fox, me partner. When me come in at the dance, one piece of drama. Let the whole heap of man, pay they all over. All the girl, them big butt stink and slobber. And the man, them little bit. And the color, well, well, everybody love a man, pay catch up in the corner. You know it's interesting how when we play all them reggae we get muted, but when you play the soca, the only you, it, it's very few of them they'll mute you on. Do you know why? Well, we've had this conversation multiple times right, okay. uh, of the whole you know level of where soca is compared to Correct. where reggae is. You Correct. Know? Um, and it's even worse with if I play um, um we call that Afrobeats. Ooh. Mm. Really? Ooh, Afrobeats is. Are you serious? Afro so you mean that Beats. Afrobeats has come and taken over from Soka? Long time. A damn. Long time. That is not good. Long time. So Chucky was supposed to be our guest today, um, one of our guests today, I should say, and he'll be on next week Saturday. We also have a, a reggae artist on next week Saturday. Um, I I will let you know what his name is really soon. Um, as we wait for Miss Geraldine to come into the waiting room. Um, again, let me just let you know she's a veteran member of the Florida Legislature, previously served as a member of the Florida State Senate from 2012 to 2016, representing parts of Orlando and Western Orange County. She also served three terms in the Florida House of Representatives from 2006 to 2012. So we have a lot of experience climbing in on our show today, and she's also running currently for District 15, and she will let us know what those boundaries are because I really don't know the perimeter or the um, the boundaries for District 15, okay? You know who, which district are you in, you know? No, I don't know. And I, I, and I, I, I can honestly you. say I don't know which district I'm No, in. no, really and truly, it's... <laughs> Ain't no I'll, shame in my game. I know, I did get <laughs> the, the mailing ballot, so I have information, and I've started... You gonna, I, I you gonna send at... yourself in via the mail? You're not literally gonna go in and vote? Okay, you're looking at me like, like, didn't you know that? I didn't know that. So uh, why, no, why, why must I have to go through that? I do. I, I go to you, the you, precinct you. because like I'm go, anal like because that. Because that's just how you are. <laughs> yeah. You know? I want to put that, take that pen and do that little dash thing, yeah. you know, and then watch that card slide through the machine, you know. <laughs> Anyhow, let me like play some music. You know music. what? It, it, it sounds like a whole level like excitement for you when you do that. It is. <laughs> I want to see my vote counted, you know. Anyhow, let me step back while you do your thing. <laughs> That school, my mama was working and my daddy was gone. I got my first two when I was 13. I mean, I run the place warm. Then I got older and found myself a wife. Struggling daily to have a better life. Now I'm riding for a fall with my back against the wall. I'll run me on the choice and talk. Anytime you hear me, pit me them ball. Me bread Gunshots start rain again. I don't want to be a memory, but I see no real solution. Yeah. Well, we're having a bashment party. People get to feel the hype. Yeah. Wearing Gucci and the money. Feeling rich like Wesley Snipes. Drinking crystal with my shorty. Burning my chalice through the night. And so we're having a bashment party. So let's rock till morning light. Bashment, girl. And if you tell me if you're ready, if you know you're ready, cock it up and spread it, girl. You know the air meditates. So you can be let me mix your down like slime. I'm ready to party. Ready to party. What's the red fox with me? Ready to party. 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 Ready to party
trying to locate her um i want to say i want to give some love to all our djs i see my sister is listening to us on the facebook live stream hi joan morning i want to give some love to all our djs the itunes radio djs there's a why? whole lot of y'all zaya sweeba itunes why? Why? Just because we can. Um, now you make me forget where I'm going with this. We got a new guy, Mr. What's his name? General. Mr. General. Yes. Mr. Yes, General. Yes, 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 out of London. We also have uh, Rakshan Singh, uh, Corey, which is DJ Lockdown, iTunes himself, Militia, uh, Professor TNT. Um, I, that's all I could remember uh, right know, I now, guys. I need to get a, a, a billboard or something for you. Know, it's not just for me, for you too. So uh, don't no, act like no, if you no, don't have no, those no. moments. Don't even go like that. No, don't, don't. Uh, wait, that's her calling. Okay. Talk to, uh, love to, to love to the to the. To why you gotta talk to me in that tone of voice? Probation done. We have to back on a chain. Sliding down like the snare. So could I never get me down? The cabin everywhere took a couple million pounds. When everybody get around, coming to you with the air and sound, hear them searching, them searching. That is why they part of our things. I am searching and searching. Like what just on the cliff, then we go. The whole of St. James. Okay. Remember we, when we're gone, we live forever. Salt Spring, we're not going under. I'll get to you, get your money long. All right, so we're still trying to find her. Her assistant is trying. So let me continue with showing the love. Much love to Soka Passion Radio DJs. Who are they? Oh, you're you one want of them. No, but I was, but wait a second. No, I said the DJs. So you know we're on three stations. We live on iTunes Radio right now, and then we go in rebroadcast mode on Soka Passion and, and Island Beat. So I gotta give my, my people and them some love. So who the DJs on on Soka Passion? You, yes. DJ Kavokian. Correct. Mecca Rose. Mecca Rose. Live. Um, KL. Look at you. You can't remember. Are you getting Wally. older? Code <laughs> Wally. <laughs> that is it? Well, there's more. No, no, there's more. There's more, there's more, there's more, there's more. Um, I know Rhythm International is on professionals. Uh, okay, you stop. There you go, you stop. So while you're thinking, let me give love to Island Beat Radio. That would be John Tobago Joseph and Queen of Hearts. See how simple that was? So, love to all our DJs. Also, uh, Professor GT. Uh, I did say DJ Militia. Uh, who's also on uh, us, um, Island, not Island Beat, oh my goodness, um, iTunes Radio. And um, I'm missing somebody. DJ Kavokian, Double Duty. That's not the name of a DJ. That's just. <laughs> we will be starting a new show come August for one hour every Monday from 8 to 9 p.m. on iTunes Radio with Samuel Cast on islandbeatradio.net. And it's called Caribbean Straight Talk. Totally focused on politics. And we're going to have some really good guest interviews, such as some of the candidates. And after elections, we'll be going into another mode, but still focus on bringing information to the people. So we'll give you more information as that comes along. In the meantime, in between time, DJ Code Red, run the thing. Watch them, watch them Jordan. I know everybody run a reel. Watch it. Them a clap how you dead. Them a friend. No matter where you do, them say you never do for that. You know real. This is where you want to do yourself. Yeah. Me now, I know none of them. For real. I be a bad man. Thing I go on lately. Me by the beam of them. Start no shake it. No a long time. Them a pre-man me. Man, I say me sweet, like I me do trick or treat. Me tell him to take a. 
I like this. Who's this? This is Shensia. She popped in a brand new Louis V from me face. She was here in Orlando recently. You went? No, I didn't go. I think I had a gig to do that Sunday night. Okay. I think she was here for Memorial Day weekend. Which was, of course, kind of a weekend. So let me let Coldplay a little bit more. And um, if we don't have a representative thumbs or Senate, Senator Thompson calling in on time, I want to talk about Roe versus Wade and the reversal and a couple of things going on right here, right now in this country that's taking us back. Because my people, I want to encourage you, you can party and still vote. You can party and still be aware of what's happening in the country that you live in, that you call home. Because even though some of y'all represent other countries such as Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada, this is where you choose to live and earn your income. Enough said, we got to keep you aware of what's going on. We want to raise your awareness so that you will do the right thing. Pussy, pussy, tell me make the party work. The girl a scream and I make call the earth. I bet the summer me gonna go walk the earth. Then I see the daylight, so we do a walk by and I be all people a wall up their head. Curry and rice cooking at the night night time and I catch Cali can go them bed. Me no care who I got them, them and them dog them, them and this and them, them then move on them. Eagle fly over them, bitch in your forehead. Girl see them a scan them, broke me like a dog leg. The dog a beat. I'm not driving and you're asleep. I'm your friend, I'm a big old party. Yeah. All right. Yeah, go with that. Well, who's this? Why well, that sound like I octane kind of sort of? There's conscience. Oh, conscience. Yes. All right. So um, let's shift from Florida for the time being. Let's talk about Texas because we do uh, rebroadcast in the state of Texas. And, um, and I know some of y'all will be listening to the show later on if you're not listening to it right now. Listen, all the state just as jacked up as Florida, okay? <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> yeah, we, have, we, have, we got two assholes. Oh, two my you know Lord. Boy. Two assholes, definitely. Florida, is, Florida and Texas, the land of toilet paper. Because we got two <laughs> <laughs> we got two oh, uh, okay, so I'm reading from a, 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 a newspaper in Texas. So, you know, we had the, the children that oh, were killed in Uvalde. Murdered, I think is the more appropriate Which word. Is, yeah, let's call okay. it what it is. Let's call it what it is. And you saw the video where um, there were how many of them in the hallway? They've been showing it a lot this oh, past yes. week. All the cops. I, 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 I remember what, what? they keep saying a good guy with a gun is going to kill the bad guy with the gun. Well, there were 19 of them in the hallway and they, they did absolutely nothing right. but One of them like even cowards. had time to stop the, to sanitize his hands. For real though? I didn't see that part. Yeah, I watched that part. Okay, uh, okay I, I wasn't really, I guess I didn't pay attention to the whole thing. But anyhow, um, what these fools have done is they've passed, now after 19 children and two adults were killed Tuesday in a shooting at Uvalde, lawmakers are again facing the same question. Could this be, could this have been prevented and how can the state avoid yet another mass shooting? And instead what they did is pass more loose gun laws in the state of Texas. I mean, come on, seriously? The leading cause for death in children now in the United States is a, a, a shootings. I mean, y'all could get all up in my uterus but you can't say okay let's just kill an ar-15 what is it with you guys and you dumbass republicans uh, yeah um, you know what maybe we shouldn't talk right now because i gain more and more pissed off the more i think about it you dumbass republicans seriously seriously are you all going to stand by and watch this happen some of you have daughters wives grandchildren grandchildren that are girls aunts and and y'all i mean look at the 10 year old that was raped in ohio and they had to transport her across state lines to get the abortion and all these republicans were denying that this had happened until the guy who raped the child confessed 
And then, of course, it became a reality all over the headlines. And now the doctor that performed the, the abortion, she has to do a cease and desist to the attorney general in that state because they're saying that she didn't follow certain protocol, which she did. They are so bent on, 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 on going after people that the, the, the common sense is not even part of their foundational so thought. Let, 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 let's come back to Texas for a second. Yeah. <clears throat> the residents of Senator Ted Cruz of Texas received a visit Thursday morning from a fleet of 52 yellow buses in a mobile procession protesting gun violence. Gun control advocate organization Change the Ref led a mile-long convoy, convoy into Cruz's office, stopping at Cruz's Houston house in protest. What these gen what this gentleman did, they actually if you have did an over the, an overhead um, picture, they aligned all the buses in the shape of an AR of a gun. Really? Yes. Awesome um, visual. They got a picture there. I, I have I have Ooh. pulled it up. Let me see. If it, and I'm sure Ted Cruz denied that that ever happened because he's so look good look, at look, denying look, 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 and being look, look a what fool. Did. Oh sh! Oh yeah. Whoa. So they aligned all 52 buses. He had, um, just Google it. Just Google yellow Whoa. bus or yellow school bus protest, Texas. So this was done immediately after or in conjunction with you Ted Valley. Cruz taking. Um, what do you do? Um, take what do we do? Um, a grant or foundation or money? What do you, what do you call he it? Took money he took from money from one of the gun one of the gun lobbyists. Yes. These these or, people have no blinking shame. Yes. And for you to say that people, for you to have blanket laws across some of these red states where there is no, you, even if you get raped, I think that's her, that's her calling. So even if you get raped, okay, you continue that. Let me just answer the phone. Sorry. So uh, it, it's, it's quite ironic that Mr. Ted Cruz, who just signed, who just taken lo a lobbyist yeah. money for so much amount of thousands of, of dollars um, to take the side of gun control, a gun control, a gun company, in which his state has one of the highest um, mass murder rates. So you have to understand is that I understand, you know, as yeah, your Second Amendment or whatever it is, your the right uh, to bear arms, bear arms, and and and, and, and I have I have my gun license. I don't have I don't have purchased one as yet, but I have my gun license. I took classes, I took the test, um, did the background check. So I have I have the ability to buy a legal firearm. In which Wait, I you get you got your gun, you got your, your what you may call it? I got my permit. I have when? My wallet. I got it last year. Oh, if we see, I, I got to get mine now. I think when more and more black people get our gun permits, that's when they're going to yeah. start uh, making the right yeah. to own an AR. Oh, that's when see. they go ban it. So here what it is. For, for, you know, it's sad to say that. The but the is more, it true? The, the more um, people the of friendly? color buy ARs or buy these assault rifles, it's then and only then they will try to come up with a... Uh, a sensible law to ban it. Yeah, because we got now we access. Have it. Now we have access to it. Now we have access. Now we have access to it. Um, let me let our listeners know that she, um, Senator Geraldine Thompson, she was having some problems getting on the link from where she is right now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and um, reschedule her. So I'll call her assistant after the show. We'll reschedule her for another Saturday because... Um, you know, it is what it is. Things happen. Mm -hmm. So and these are um, people always on the go. Right? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they. yeah. Because she got a campaign, you got to win that seat. You mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. and ten minutes is not enough time to talk to her. I don't want to rush her. I want to give her the amount of time that she deserves. So we will reschedule her. Uh, so we have Miss Rump coming up around one twenty-five. But before we um, go into some music, get your gun license. Get your gun license. I believe, and I'm speaking to myself too, I started the process and I didn't finish it. I am going to get my license simply because if you want to ban AR-15 because too much black people have it, have at it. Have at so it. So we will go ahead and have we will it. get our license. Yes. All of y'all that can hear my voice, get your license. Okay. If, even okay. if you haven't, all, even if you started the process like me and you haven't finished it, finish it and get it. Because if that's what it's going to take, okay, have at it. Have at it. Just find to stop, pause, flex, look, back, talk, life, to back, body, done, back, shut, don't ask. Talk, tick, tick, Marcus. slim, waist, skin, slick, yeah. dark, wrong, chocolate, right. tick, leg, jade, bring, yeah. quick, mind, 
Because I like it. I like, I like how it's yeah, yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. It's like staccato. Yeah, it's, it's got the Mali rhythm. Yeah, you're always around from the start. Whenever you're gone, it feel dark. I don't want you leave, leave your man. Promise till then do us part. And I like the way you jiggle that. Bring it here, let me see you fling it up. Bring it up. X amount of loving when you send it back. Send it back. Bring it here, let me see you bend it up. Lonely, lonely. It's such a lonely, lonely boy. Acting like you're lonely, lonely. Are you when my walk on my way? Looking like you're lonely, lonely. It's such a lonely, lonely boy. Acting like you're lonely, lonely. Are you when my walk on my way? I never shoot my shot, but you make me want to fight. My pride and my ego pop down. I won't put up a fight. This time when you show me, nobody ever get this time. Mali Rhythm, the last one was by Mr. Ricardo Drew. Uh, he's been putting out a lot, a lot, a lot of music. Mm, I, see, yeah, I he, guess he, he, he found his stride. He, mm. Mm, mm, don't, no, don't start me. Don't okay. start me. I, I, if, all I said if, was if, he if found his stride. Don't start, because if you start me, we go, go, yeah, down, yeah, we go, yeah, go yeah. down the rabbit hole together. I just said he found his stride. Don't start me. So let me let y'all know who's going to be on the show next week. It's just July 23rd. Uh, Chucky will be on he was supposed to be on today but he asked if he can be on next week instead and and i'm like sure so we're gonna have chucky we're also gonna have reggae artist courtney unda and on the 30th we're gonna have raslik and on the 6th of august we're gonna have mandela links because mandela has some new music um roughly two weeks ago but he continues to churn out new music and he's been very instrumental in the new prime minister being well winning in grenada that was like maybe two weeks ago so it's going to be nice to hear us talk new music with mandela as well as you know the part that he played in bringing the new or getting the new prime minister to grenada involved or voted in yeah because they won an, uh, they won a lot of seats the last party got about maybe six seats or seven seats or something like that. Uh, so they're, they're, my, they're the min minority. I'm tripping over my words right now. The, the minority. But, of course, they've got a new government. And it would be nice if one day Trinidad and Tobago can see something similar. Because this cat is pretty young. And uh, youth is not um, going to determine. Well, you know what? He's bringing fresh focus to what's happening in Grenada right now. So it's going to be interesting to see how his platform develops and how the government develops. And it will be nice, of course, to see... I'm tr why is my phone freezing like that? Why are you doing that, phone? It's going to be interesting to see if Trinidad and Tobago will one day, one day, follow suit. Because you know what? <laughs> Things need to change, you know, right? People, we tired at the same old, same old. Um, and all the PNM people, all they need to call call it for what it is don't be so complacent in continuing to accept the the what is happening just because you're a pnmite no you got to be much more open-minded than that let's do the same garbage or do up here you vote you vote for the party not for the person yeah and and you know enough of that right now the world is going through too much trinidad and tobago is going through so many changes right now as every other country but you know we we need the, we need to vote for the change that we want to see. So, Kamala Passad, Bessessa, or whatever the heck your name is, leave UNC so that way some brand new person can step up to the plate and take the party to where it needs to go. Because it's UNC, right? Yeah, UNC. Mm -hmm. Which, that is the just full people. of all the alphabet. UNC, A&M, <laughs> A&R, P&M. Yeah, 
TNT, yeah, uh, PVC, camera, uh, A&D. Oh, just resign are. now. Resign. Do the right thing. Resign. So that someone else can, you know, lead the party to where it needs to be. And, and that means give PNM stiff competition, a competition, competition that they, you know, they will have to step up to the plate. Okay? All right. I talk to Sugar rhythm. Uh, before I leave Texas alone, let me just say this. I see uh, Ole Governor on July 7th, he signed some order that says that uh, pursuant to his powers as governor of Texas, um, relating to returning illegal immigrants to the border. Uh, tell me exactly how that's going to take place. You're such a oh, jackass, um, Abbott. One what? thing, oh, so I've been watching CNN. MSNBC a lot. Well, especially How come? Just, just CNN. How come? CNBC. How come? Uh, a different top. I'll, I'll, we'll get to that sometime in the next couple of years. Uh, don't you know Ukraines are one of the largest immigrants and they're come in, actually coming through Mexico? Mexico. Mm -hmm. people, are, people are under, the, under the assumption that just because they're coming through Mexico from illegal, you're actually Mexican or of Spanish. There's a lot of Ukrainians, a lot of um, even Russians are coming through. Russians? You'd be surprised. They, they, they want to leave Russia? you be surprised. They had enough of Putin? They had enough of Stinkton? Oh, uh, so, um, uh, you know, one of the things that I learned over the past couple months, I didn't realize that a lot of our food, grain, agriculture comes from Ukraine. Did yes. you know that? That's, what, that's, that's one of the reasons why we're in what we're in right now. That's one of the uh, bigger wow. problems. Hi, Miss Ramp. Hold on, I mean, not just. I, I, didn't, I didn't realize, that, I mean, gee, hey. You live, you live and you learn. I almost say you learn and you live, but you live and you learn. Did you guys know that, that most of the food, grain, um, a, a lot of it is grown agriculturally, is grown in the Ukraine. So like uh, anything that you use grain for, whether it's bread or whatever other products you use, if you've noticed that there's a shortage, connect that to the fact that Putin is bumming the hell out of Ukraine right now yeah. because I, I in his people, mind he wants to go back to the old yeah. USSR. He's pissed off right now because his actions have actually made uh, uh, NATO stronger. You had um, you know what I'm saying? Was it was it Switzerland and yeah? Of all places, Switzerland is not joining. The, um, yeah, Switzerland and I'm trying to remember the, the others. Sweden? Was it Sweden with SNS? Sweden is trying to get into Sweden, Norway, Switzerland. Mm -hmm. um, all countries that have previously stayed neutral because they didn't want to get involved. Now that they're seeing what is happening in Ukraine, well, they want to be protected because Putin is a madman. And he's proven that every time he sends a bomb in the direction of the Ukraine. Good morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> Miss Rampa, how are you? 
uh, right now you're currently mute. There should be like a button on your phone. Yes. This is uh, like a microphone button. Yeah, uh, I, think you, 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 I think you took yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. So now that you have that button, you may turn on your camera again because you turned the camera off by accident. So I was watching the Facebook feed uh -huh. on my phone, which doesn't show all the comments. So I'm saying hi to Julian G.I. Trini. Uh, Tricky Finger says, um, Mr. Finger was good. Uh, oh, oh, no. Yeah. No, Julian is asking that. Um, Cold but stop drinking, they hate to... <laughs> you saw that comment? No, I didn't. Said, okay. I did He said, Cold stop drinking, they hate to aid. Laugh out loud. <laughs> I choose radio. Um, okay, so... Um, okay. I miss oh. Rump. Can you hear us? I can. Oh, all right, perfect, all right, perfect, all right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It is so wonderful to have you on, Miss Thompson. Um, she was having some problems um, with the link, so we have to reschedule her. So she's going to be on another Saturday, you know. But it's nice to have you on. Thank you. So it's good to be here. Thank you. Um, I was telling Cole when I came in. Um, before the show, because whenever I, I see him only on Saturdays, so then I fill his head with all the information that, you know, that I got into over the past week, and I was telling him about the um, the event on Thursday. That was my first time attending, and and exactly what takes place, what from what I saw took place, and it is an event that takes. How long does it take for you guys to plan that? We started. This is July, right? So we started really the first of the year uh -huh. planning this. And probably January, February, March, we really started getting in, uh, more details into planning. So it takes a good six months to plan it. And primarily because we need sponsorship. So uh -huh. they need a heads up, uh -huh. you know, to be asked to, to be sponsored for this event. And, um, uh, so it's about six months planning. Six months. This time, this is our second uh, hobnob. We had one in 2018, so we started a little earlier. Mm -hmm. So we have our notebook and our guide from 2018, so that helped us out quite a bit this year, where we did not have to reinvent the wheel as mm -hmm. far as the uh, letters to the candidates and the, uh, the uh, sponsorship packet. So some of the administrative work was already done in mm -hmm. 2018. So I jumped the gun. What I should have started asking you was for, for you to please share with our listeners. Because every Saturday we're live on iTunes Radio. We rebroadcast on Soka Passion um, Radio out of Texas, uh, 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock every Saturday. And on Sundays we rebroadcast on islandbeachradio.net. And what I'd like people to understand as Ms. Rump goes into an explanation of the Pine Hills Community Council, that here in Orlando, Kissimmee, Wherever your community is, it's a microcosm of wherever you are in whatever part of the country. So even though right. this show is being, um, you're listening to it live on iTunes radio, we're here representing the, 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 the Orange County and, of course, well, Central Florida. Whatever you're hearing here is being reflected in your community. So, yes. okay, so with yes. that being said, Ms. Rump, can you share with our listeners what the Pine Hills Community Council is all about? Thank you. I'll be happy to. And thank you listening for listening in, those that are watching live or listening by radio. The Pine Hills Community Council is a local grassroots organization. We are a 501c4, which means we are a civic organization. We are nonpartisan and we are nonprofit. And we advocate on the behalf of the residents and the businesses in the Pine Hills community. There's over 75,000 residents in the Pine Hills community. And we advocate for them at the local, state, and national level government to make sure that any policies and changes that's coming through at those levels, that they would not negatively affect the residents and the businesses in the Pine Hills area. Mm -hmm. So we're grassroots and we made some uh, a great strive and some great changes. We actually been around for about 50 years. Well, it's just about I've that. Been a, I've been a, yeah, it's been around for a while, but like you say, We've been around that long, but we uh, uh, need to get out there more so people can know more about who the council is and what we do. We all volunteer. No one receives a salary. Uh -huh. So all the hours that we put in and all the hard work we put in because we love the community and because we love what we do. See, 
Thank you so much for that explanation. Um, I have been living in this country for roughly over 30 years. At least two of those years in the early part, I lived in Pine Hills, and that was probably in 19... Oh, good Lord, 85, 86, no, 89, something around there. And I have seen the changes in the community over the years because good. even though I've been living, I live on the east side predominantly and I, I live for, in Miami for like five years, I've seen the changes. Um, do you think that everything that you guys have done over the past 50 years, okay, let me ask it another way. How do you see the changes reflected in the community over the past, I would say within the past 15 years? I wouldn't take you all the way back to 50 um, because you weren't there at that time. But no, in the, no. Yeah, in but, the past but in 10 the last, years. But in the last 15 years, I'm going to go back to oldest. Last 15 years, a couple of changes has made. If you notice now, uh, Silver Star Road, mm -hmm. we were getting a lot of businesses where there were liquor stores coming in. I have nothing against alcohol, uh, but there was a lot of liquor stores coming in and a lot of pawn shops. And when that happens, that would deter other people uh, businesses from coming into the area. Mm -hmm. So what we asked the Orange County Commission to do was do a write an ordinance or an overlay to restrict the number of uh, liquor stores that would come into the Pine Hills area along Civil Star Road. And therefore, we would be able to draw other businesses that would come into the Pine Hills area. Mm -hmm. And that was a, uh, and that's about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, within the last five years, there was a gun shop that want to set up on Silver Star, Silver Star and Powers Drive. Right now, there's a, a Florida Health uh, a, a facility there, but it's on Silver Star and Powers Drive. It used to be an old bank there years ago. Yes, yes. There's, but there's a gun shot one that's set up there, and they're always talking about the crimes and things that are going upon in, in the Pine Hills area. Actually, that gun shop set up there, and we went there, the, uh, the uh, council, and petitioned the Board of County Commissioners and said, no, this is not right. Even the short period of while the gunshot was there within a month, they had several attempts to break in. Mm. And so our concern is that we're trying to get a different image for Pine Hills and say we are prime hills. We are prime area. Mm. So don't bring in businesses that's going to have a negative effect on what occurs in Pine Hills mm even though the resident in Pine Hills are not causing these problems, sometimes it comes from outside mm -hmm. and bring it in. So that's a, one other point I'm bring up too. Uh, there is a, like I say, for some reason, the liquor stores want to come into the black community. Yes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and there was one that, if you notice, set up on Pine Hills Road that backs into Evans High School. Really? It's less, yes, it's, it's been there for a while, but there was, a, there was a loophole in the county ordinance. The county ordinance says that a liquor store cannot set up within a thousand feet of a school mm -hmm. and, a, and a religious organization from the entrance to entrance. So at that time, they was measuring the entrance of Evans High School on Silver Star Road. The liquor store is facing Pine. I mean, it's facing Pine Hills Road. So if you count a thousand feet from Pine Hills, going to Silver Star, uh -huh. making a left to Evans High School, uh -huh. then it, it met the criteria of a liquor store. However, Evans High School has an interest on Pine Hills Road where the bus come in. Yes, I remember that entrance. So uh, the county went back and reevaluated that, and says any interest into the school. But of course, the, the store was there. So if that store moved out and someone else trying to move in, they cannot because they would violate the ordinance. Our thing is that we want to bring businesses that will have longevity for generations to come. Yes, yes, yes. Bring those type of businesses in, into the area. Uh, so we're uh, just doing things. Another thing that we uh, worked uh, if you if you noticed uh, recently, that old Agape building that's on Hawassi, which is a main thoroughway that used to be a church on Hawassi and uh, close to a uh, Silver Star Road. It has two fire. It had, it was abandoned. It's been abandoned for almost two years. And uh, last month there was a fire in there. Uh -huh. About six months ago there's another fire in there. 
But that's being, have... that's being set, though. That's, 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 I mean. But you know what? Let's take a pause. Um, and let me let Code Red play, like, you know, a song or so. Well, not yeah. a song or so, just a couple minutes. And then we'll come back into the conversation. Because okay. I okay. want to also talk about the, the relocation. I shouldn't say relocation. Um, the exodus of whites from Pine Hills over the years. Because a lot of people don't know this. Pine Hills used to be predominantly white. Yes. So we'll talk about that um, on the other side of whatever code is going to play. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Find your belly. <laughs> Find your belly. I'm just a stranger in a crowded place. Me and me cooler and we did. Hoping to find someone with a familiar face so we could fit and celebrate. This is not the time. Ms. Rump, this is an interesting conversation. It really is. A lot of people didn't know that roughly maybe 25, 30 years ago, Pine Hills was, there was a, a, a larger demographic of white people. And then as more and more West Indians, African Americans moved into the area, they hightailed it out. Um, do you remember that? Were you living there around that time? No, I was not living in Pines around that time. But, uh, I am a native from Orlando. Mm -hmm. So I've seen this area grow from a rural segregated town to 100,000 residents at the most. Mm -hmm. So right now we have 1.5 million residents of diverse population. Hold up. 1.5 million where? Not in Pine Hills, in Central Florida. No, in, no, in, in, in Orange in, in, County. In Orange County. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. So, but I I'm a native mm -hmm. of, of Orange County. I was born mm -hmm. and raised here in Orlando, Florida. Mm. You're rare. Here most, so yes, uh, back in the when Pine, Pine Hills was really one of the first suburbs to develop, mm -hmm. to be established in the Orlando area, mm -hmm. and Pine Hills was uh, uh, established mm -hmm. or developed, I should say, for the workers at Mar Marietta. Oh. Pine Hills in another division, Tangelo Park, and uh -huh. so Catalina uh, Catalina Owls. It was it was developed for the workers at the Martin Center. So it was a, a predominant, say, 90% white community. Yes. Mm. And then, like anything, changes came. And as we began to, as the, uh, uh, a, uh, a black race began to make more money mm -hmm. and, and began to grow, then we decided we wanted to move into other areas. Mm -hmm. And as we move in, like in, in, anything else, uh, people move out. Mm -hmm. Not just Pine Hills, but you... You would experience that in any other neighborhood. Mm -hmm. They would start moving out. So that's what happened. As, yeah. as the more as the African American moved in, then the uh, the more the uh, Caucasian moved out, moved out. The whites moved out. So we were talking about um, businesses that you don't want trying to get into the Pine Hills neighborhood. So um, community. And uh, you talked about the gun shop that tried, and during the time that they were up which was like roughly a month, they had a couple break-ins because people want access to free guns, you know. Yes. And you guys were able to get them to leave the community? Well, this is what's happened. Yes, we did. As we did our research, 
the council did their research, uh -huh. we found out that eventually they would want to start selling cars right there in the residential area. Wow. And so, yeah, I mean, so it, uh, we have no problem with a car dealership coming, but put it on 50. Yes. Don't put it right there in the residential area. So because they could not follow through with their plan of open up a gun shop, eventually turn into a title sale, you know, where you come upon your cars, mm -hmm. then they left. Wow. It's from so one it, thing uh, to it, the next. Yes. Say that again. I say it's from one thing to the next. And you have Absolutely. to, they keep you on your toes, right? <laughs> they keep you on your toes. So, so <laughs> how much of a challenge has it been to, yeah, stay on your toes and keep a vigilant eye uh, of what's happening so you could prevent some of these um, from coming into the community? I'm going to tell you, it is getting better. <laughs> now that the council is more active mm -hmm. and we're at these meet the board of county commissioner meeting mm -hmm. and they know who we are mm -hmm. and they know that we is on top of everything it's getting better but it is a challenge and if we could get more people engaged mm -hmm. and, and participate one of the things that we just set up as as the council uh in order to report code violation uh such as we see uh, stores in different areas, like these Dollar Tree stores that have a uh, trash in the back of their store that's stacked up high, 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 and won't clean the trash up. And we see where the right-of-way, where the county has not came and mowed the right-of-way or pick up litter in the right-of-way. Mm -hmm. If you notice between, um, in the Pine Hills area on 50, between John Young Parkway and probably Hawassi, Mm -hmm. The grass is not being mowed in the right of way in mm -hmm. edge. Get on the west side of a pop of island, there's a big difference. So answer your question, how challenging has it been? Now that we have met with the uh, Florida Department of uh, Florida Department of uh, FDOT, mm -hmm. those that are responsible for the road cleanup, mm -hmm. met with Orange County uh, workers. They know who we are. It's getting better as far as keeping things clean, but it is a challenge, but we need more people to, this is the challenge. Folks are really afraid to get involved because they don't want to be retaliated against. I get it. But we get more people involved and to report what they see. If you go into a, uh, a business and the business outside is not clean, ask them, what's the problem? I, I walked up to the post office on the corner of uh, uh, Pine Hills in, uh, in Colonial. Uh -huh. That post office there. What's the, what's the problem here? Why does this post office look like this outside? Why the grass is not mowed? Uh -huh. Why does weeds crawl all, all up your building? Okay, so let me tell you what I do in my neighborhood. Good, so okay. Know. What I do, here, listen, I have got code enforcement documented. I mean, it's listed on my phone. If you don't cut your grass, I call you in. And I would like more and more of that to start happening in the Pine Hills community because you. you know what? Your grass, if your grass is not mowed or cut, it takes on the value of the neighborhood. It doesn't You're make so sense. Right. It doesn't make sense me purchasing a home in the neighborhood and I, I keep in my yard clean and, and you refuse to cut yours. I call code enforcement with, on them on a in a heartbeat. When I see um, trolleys or buggies from Save a Lot in the neighborhood, and that just recently started within the past, I would say, month. So that tells me someone new that moved into the neighborhood that maybe ah. don't have a car, but instead of leaving the buggy in front of your house, you move it to the corner. I call code enforcement on you simply because... Well, I don't know who it is yet, but I'll find out who it is soon enough. Because you're stealing. You're stealing the buggy from save okay. a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bringing it yeah. down the street and leaving it in the neighborhood. If you want to do that, leave it in front of your home. So people know who you are. But they're not doing that because they don't want to be recognized. So I, I, I would like to see a whole lot more of that happening in, in Pine Hills. Because there's a lot. It's a beautiful neighborhood. But in some locations, you never would know because you got... Um, Abandoned cars because yes. somebody fixing it. The grass all the way up here, garbage just strewn. Uh, how is that going to make a neighborhood neat? Um, 
you know what I'm saying? Clean. Let me tell you one, one thing that we implement in the last two years. Mm -hmm. I understand that the council used to have it before, but in the last two years, we brought it back. And it's yard of the month. Oh. Every month, we recognize a yard in the Pine Hills area that has been well maintained. Mm -hmm. And we put a beautiful yard of the month sign mm -hmm. in that yard. And I could tell you that this, when, when the neighbors see that yard, they want that sign in their yard. Step that's, a, a, that's a sign to these neighbors, and that's a, a, an encouragement to the, that neighbor mm -hmm. next to them mm -hmm. to keep their yard up. That has been working. Nice. But two years, every month, we recognize the yard of the month. And, and the neighbors that is awarded, some of them are so excited <laughs> to even know that someone is recognizing mm -hmm. their efforts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That goes a long Just way. Just thanks to one, yes. That goes a long way. Um, it goes a long way. I don't want to speak out loud on the air just yet, but there was something that you and I had talked about, and I mentioned it to one of your... Hmm? Hey, Michelle. And I had mentioned it to uh, one of the um, other ladies on your council at the event yes, uh, two days ago, and I'd like to talk more about it, but off the air, because until it's put together, I don't want to... Okay. You know, but do you think it's a good idea? I love the idea. I do. That's what it's going to take. More grassroots organization coming to working together. Mm -hmm. We could get a lot more done to, together than we can do apart. Mm -hmm. You know, I definitely so. And I think so it's I a. That. I think it's a good way to give people a voice to feel for them to feel like if they're being listened to, they're being heard, and that goes a long way for how you feel on the inside. You know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me say one of the things that the council did with code enforcement. Uh, Last legislative session, mm -hmm. uh, Tallahassee, the, the legislator passed a, a bill that says that you can no longer call in a code violation anonymously. Yes. You have I, to give your name. You have to give so your name. So what the council did, we set up a uh, an account up under 311. Mm -hmm. So our name is Pine Hills Community Council. Mm -hmm. Our last name is Council. Our address is our business address. Uh -huh. Our telephone number is our business telephone number. Oh, so when we submit these code enforcement in now, it comes up under Pine Hills Community Council. So no one should feel afraid of being targeted. Nice. And, and, and the good thing about that is we could track mm -hmm. all these code enforcement that go in. We get an email back. We could track the information and see if they're really going out there and doing what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, we have someone that's keeping the law mm -hmm. and tracking this information. So that's the good thing about that. It comes to one person. So now when the code enforcement see Pine Hills Community Council, mm -hmm. it gets done within 48 hours. Okay. But usually they're really good. Like when I call in um, some code violators, within 24 hours, it's taken care of. Very good. And yeah. they do call back and say, Miss Dunbar, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. We couldn't do this one because the grass wasn't tall enough, but we'll keep an eye on it. You know, but... um. You guys do so much good work. And honestly, ma'am, until I showed up at the event on Thursday, I really didn't know you guys existed. I know it. I know. We, we're we doing better in getting the in, getting our name out there uh, uh, as far as letting people know who the council is. Mm -hmm. And to your point, once people, I, I'm, I know once people know who we are, as they know who the council is, they come in and pitch in. It's a matter of getting the name out there more. So thank you for this opportunity well, to letting me let the people that you're listening audience hear about the Pine Hills Community Council well, so that they can get more involved and take care of our community. Thank well, you very well, much. Thank you for listening to me because I talk a whole lot and I don't know sometimes if people listen when I when I'm face to face with them. But thank you for listening to me when I called you that day. And thank you for, for acknowledging that, yes, it is a good idea. And that says to me that we can come together because there are other people that will be part of the information, um, getting the information out. And, and I say that because um, when we did the town hall last week at the church, Miss um, Thompson had mentioned something that stuck in my ear. She said that there are five Republicans that are up for renewal, and we need to prevent them from being renewed. And that's how the whole information train um, thought got started, because we need to be our neighbor's keeper in more ways than just one. Yes, yes. You know? Yes. And yes. I, I think that once we start to do the right thing in terms of getting the information out, 
you know, and, and, and grooming people on the information, I think we'll see a whole lot more follow through and people being more interested, right? And that's what it's all about. Like I said, getting, getting them educated. Mm -hmm. And once we become educated, we become empowered. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, then mm -hmm. once we become empowered, we all get engaged. Mm -hmm. And that's how we mobilize, get them educated, bring them the resources, let them know. But the council meets the first twos of each month. We're doing Zoom right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be going back in person, but we're doing Zoom right now. But the first Tuesday of each month, we've been meeting and we bring resources, we have Bill Cowles, supervisor of election, on our last call. Mm -hmm. that talked all about how to make sure that your voter registration stay updated. Mm -hmm. What to look for. When these voter stains come in the mail from the supervisor of election, don't throw them away. Mm -hmm. Bill Cowles made an announcement uh, at our last meeting that they sent our information to all the voters in Orange County. And 40,000, 47,000 of that information came back. Was, that means that these voters has moved and has not changed the address. Oh, my goodness. If you know you cannot forward government mail. No, you can't. So these 47,000 voters does not know what's going on as far as the new election laws. And some of, us, some of our area has changed our voting location and has changed our district. So 47,000 res of voters is missing out on what's going on. That's that, a lot. That also means they do not know where their precinct is. That means that some of them may try to show up at the old precinct and get ticked off because they're not on the list, but it's because your mail didn't follow you to where you currently are. Absolutely. Absolutely. Question, when you all have the meetings on Tuesdays, is the public invited? Absolutely. Okay, and because... It, go ahead. The public is invited, and it's, uh, we stream at Facebook Live. Mm -hmm. And the public is also invited to sit in on, like we're doing it on the Zoom call, mm -hmm. to be a part of the Zoom call. Okay. Yes. Because I'm thinking that that's probably how we need to approach this, but we'll talk after because th that audience is already there. And to just bring them in and encourage them. Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I think that would be a good way to do it instead of trying to reinvent the wheel, you know? But yes. Miss, Miss Patricia Rump, it's been a pleasure, a definite yes. pleasure yes. having you on the show. And as we say to all our guests, it's the first time, but it will not be the last time. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> You're most welcome. No, you have a blessed weekend, and we will be talking soon, okay? God bless you, too. Thank God you. God bless you. Bye-bye. You're Bye -bye. welcome. Bye-bye. Good information, right? Always. Good information. Shared information. So you play some music and we'll talk on the other side because we're almost at the two o'clock hour. We want to remind you, you can listen to the show. Um, hey, we're on every platform right now. Live stream, if you want to see what we look like, see what our guests look like, then join us on YouTube, on our, our website, thepeoplechatroom.com, and on Facebook when they don't block us. You know, but definitely we are live every Saturday on iTunes radio and you can hear the show in repeat mode on Soka Passion this evening from 6 to 8 p.m. and tomorrow on Island Beach Radio from 12.30 to 2.30 p.m. Now let me turn you over to DJ Code Red. Okay, okay. Yeah, double. When outside open, back again, Lord. Hey, hey. I just want to see hey. who are the maddest crew. Hey. Who are the maddest crew? Hey. Shake it, grab a girl, and dislocate it. Uh, uh, you feel your bad? Uh, my crew go really hard. Go on defense and start to shake it, grab a girl, and dislocate it. Uh, uh, you feel your bad? Uh, my crew go really This is job. Like bam, atomic, white people on the chronic, national geographic, man drinking till they vomit. Like bam, with a panic, can't tie up with bionic, beating room like a tonic. Oh snap, yeah, people hurt. Let me come in.
So let me let all know before I turn back, code red loose. We getting soaked in West London on Saturday, the 27th of August. So iTunes Radio. By the way, London, thank you for showing my brothers and them so much love on the boat ride, which was the ultimate success. And I understand that iTunes Radio is, is pumping in London. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We didn't know we had so much love, you know? So it's nice to know that. So the 24th. I'm sorry, the 27th of August. Get soaked with Alison Hines, Jafab, Lyrical, Skinny Fabulous, Callen XP, Tower Hill, Classic, Free School Bar, and that's, of Classic. course, for Notting Hill Carnival 2022. So, hey, Mr. General, welcome to iTunes Radio. In the meantime, let me turn it back over to... DJ <coughs> sorry, I didn't say it right. Wait, wait, wait. DJ Code Red. Oh, your, your timing was just no, there. No, no, no. Uh, because was, because uh, a cough just came to my throat. Your timing and I was, like, was ah, just ah, right there. Ah. Hey, chap don't miss. Uh -huh. We don't take disrespect and so chap don't miss. No bottom feed and no, no, no. Chap don't kiss. Okay. You're asking too much question. No, oh, what is this? Uh -huh. What is this? Uh -huh. Don't raise your voice. Uh -huh. You're out of order, not a very smart choice. Uh -huh. Don't make me call out all them jam jam. Who hold it heavy with them jab jab toys? Lower your voice. Your negative energy is messing up all of the vibe. Cutting connectivity with them fakers, them by a mile. Party animosity, it don't really fit in my plan. Talk out your neck and disrespect your better living. <laughs> show on august 6th no you didn't say that yeah because michelle came at the same time so he didn't hear me but he's gonna be on the show you got anything new from him because i know he's got a lot of new music yes he does as i hear you in jab jab mode yeah. right? <laughs> Nobody could suffer a job, it's a prime minister. Out of deal, Jack 
Dominique and Daniel, they turned 29 yesterday. And right now they're in New York with their big brother, Dijon, and they just sightseeing us. I think they went to see the Statue of Liberty and all that yesterday. Have you been to New York? I, I, yeah, I used to go a lot of times. I, I still get, have I a sister. You, 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 you still have family in New York? And your, your mom, they live in New York, and they? She resides. <laughs> and then, you know, English, di- English is a horrible language. What's the difference? There's, there's, there's a big difference. What's the difference? Because as soon as they get cold, then there's high tea. Like, oh, so they come down. <laughs> so I'm going to say, they resign. They resign. That's why I say, that's why I say English is a horrible language. As <laughs> soon as they get cold, they, they, they're gone. Uh, well, that's just now in the next couple. But they were just here. They were just they here. They were just here, here so. twice. So they should be coming back down see, towards the end of the year. No, uh, no. Nah, nah, well, I see them next month. Oh. <laughs> you going up? Like, no, we're we going west. We going west. west. So, oh, uh, your birthday? Yes. Ah. We're going, we going west. Oh, they're still going? Okay. Going I west. noticed Michelle kicked more to the group, but that's all right. I ain't taking... She didn't kick I... you out of the group. She just, she just gently remove you. <laughs> <laughs> Six or one half a dozen, not the next. <laughs> but that's okay, because I think she already knew I wasn't going anyway, so yeah, it's like... Just, just, I have I have, I have history, you know. I have... Nobody... Nobody believes that I show up for anything. Ain't that some... But no, 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 no. We know wait, that you know. We know you're the show up. Wait, I go into the Carrie's birthday party in Houston in September. I am going by the grace of God. I'll find my way to Houston for that birthday party. All right. All right. Yeah, definitely. Okay. And I know you're gonna remind me. And Why? I, it, because when I say remind me that you're gonna well because you are probably thinking I'm not going to show up either, but I'll, I'll surprise everybody. I will. I sure will. We got to get out of here, and I got to okay, turn okay, okay. I gotta turn Code Red loose. So yeah. before I turn Code Red loose, let me just re- remind you guys that next week on the air, we're going to have Chucky. He's going to be our guest, and Courtney. Oh, what's his name? I don't even oh, I don't want to say that. Courtney Undar. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Uh, reggae artist. And the following Saturday, we're going to have Ra Slick. And on August 6th, we're going to have Mandela Lynx talking new music as well as, you know, he was very involved in the new party that got um, in power in Grenada. So we want to hear about that. In the meantime, you guys have a blessed rest of the day. It's a beautiful weekend, even with the rain. The People Chat Room will be on the air next week, Saturday, God's Fair Life. In the meantime, in between time, turn it back over to DJ Code Red. Thank you, Miss Rump, for being our guest today. And Natalie Amoroso. That I check, hey. we lost my shop all fit. Yeah. Last time that I check, hey. whole party get wrecked. Yeah. Last time that I check, hey. everybody in sweat. Last time that I check, hey. all the police upset. Hey. When we get on like we don't press it up. Oh, yeah. What's up, the crazy people jumping up in the van? A kind of different thing they have in their hand. They're jumping up and down, they don't give a damn. Carrying on like them is a hoodie. Mash up everything like we have insurance And tear down everything like we have insurance We gon' shell out everything like we have insurance When crazy people reach up, they have insurance Come
That's not what it sounded like to me. I wouldn't even say what it sounded like to me. I'm going to leave it alone. We got to go. We'll see you all next week, Saturday, yeah, right here on the air. Y'all have a blessed weekend. This is Lima Dunbar, DJ Code Red. God bless. Now, she tell me she feeling thirsty. She wants something to drink. She don't want no bottle of water, so I have to take. I don't want she run she mouth because you know she don't lose. Yeah. I take all the cane one time, she a mouth full of juice. Hey! The girl them like the sugar king. Like the sugar king. She want no sugar king.